Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. This is a video for the April 2020 VIP using Mix 11, which is called Rosy Posy. And it's gorgeous multi-cut mix, as you can see here. So I tried to cut corners on <laughs> using my practice hand. Oh, there you go, using lilac as well from Halo as my gel polish base. But yeah, I tried to cut corners and what I did is I stuck down some Apre tips um, just on top of the nails that were already on there. And I'm not gonna lie, I really hated the way <laughs> they looked. Um, I critique everything that I do with nails, but especially when like it's so blatantly obvious that I've just try to save a little bit of time because I was recording a few videos that day um, after I did these I took them off I completely soaked off the tips and stuck down new ones on my hand um, but you will get the gist of the design anyway so I've done my first coat there of halo in the color lilac and I'm going in with my second coat and I don't cure this before I put the glitter on So now I'm just going to come in with the glitter um, and I'm using a fluffy makeup brush and I'm just tapping it, dipping it in and tapping it off. I'm not even touching the gel polish at all, um, so I'm just basically sprinkling the glitter over that wet gel polish so that when it cures it sticks into that gel polish. And then I'm using this Now Art brush which I got from like eBay or something years and years and years ago. I still keep it because it's just a cheap brush and I don't really care if I ruin it or anything. And I'm just dabbing a tiny bit into those corners and then I'm going to do it from the tip going upwards on this one. Just to give you an idea how to use glitter in different ways because um, I tend to go straight for my acrylic whenever I do a tutorial and I like to think about the gel polish text as well. So then I just cure that for 60 seconds. I'm going to be using my base coat to encapsulate the glitter. So I'm just going to brush off a little bit of excess there. Because this video is sped up it looks like I'm being really like aggressive with my brush but I'm not being too aggressive. Um, just getting off that off the silicone and now coming in with that base coat and I'm literally just floating it over that glitter um, and being using quite a lot on the brush so that it can self level nicely before I put on my top coat I'm just going in with my halo no wipe top coat and I will cure this for 60 seconds. Once they're all cured, I've just separated this finger from the rest and I'm going in with a 180 grit file and just neatening up those um, free edge, free edges and side walls and just giving it a gentle buff over the top to make sure it's nice and even. I will then go in with a matte top coat and I'm using the Crystal Nails Matte Ever 
Um, I love this top coat, it's truly matte. Um, it goes on so nicely and it cures tack free as well. Um, just cleaning off there with a bit of alcohol because dust sticks to these silicone hands like crazy. So when I'm brushing off dust, I tend to use a bit of alcohol cleanse or something like that. So now that's come out all nice and matte and I'm using my Perfect Nails One Move brush, it's a double ended brush with a detailer on the end and I'm using Crystal Nails Art Gels in white and magenta and I'm just going to do a bit of one stroke on this nail. Then when I'm finally happy with how it looks, I'm just going to put that finger in the light, maybe for 20 seconds, just to give it um, a slight cure, just to hold it in place. And then I'll go in with my second layer, um, and third if I need it. I only did two layers on this design, but um, I don't know, it depends how bold you want it. I was happy with two layers. So then I just go around and I build up the rest of the pattern. Just going in now with a uh, cotton bud and cleaning up a little mistake I made and then doing a few dots with my nail art needle and white gel, um, art gel that I've been using for the one stroke. Then I'll cue that and that's your finished look. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, that would mean a lot to me. I've got another video coming out as well um, for the VIPs, so stay tuned and I'll see you all again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!